for tonight because of everything that's gone on the past couple yes. of days. Uh, <laughs> you can go ahead and just you forfeit the rest of your turn, like you know, like we did it before. Uh, so you basically that's drop fine. your weapon, forfeit the rest of your turn. But starting next week, we will have. Uh, I've got a whole ton of new uh, perks and quirks and boons and all that stuff for for five e. If so, you need somebody to work on that with you, I'd be more than happy. Uh, I'm I'm actually I'm all I'm all done with it. I just have to to get it up on the site. Okay. So, uh, but that will I appreciate the offer, and uh, I might take you up on that offer on on some other things. So because. I'm going to need some help with some things. I, I obviously, I can't do... I, I've been trying to do everything by myself, and it's just... It's tough, man. So, anyways, All you got to do is ask me, man. I'll help you with it. All right, sounds good. All right, so, Craig, you're done uh, with your fumble ruski. And now... <laughs> Damn it, I can't hit anything! Craig, you can see to the south uh, as you kind of, you know, uh -huh. let your guard down for a second and, and, you know, leave combat. You notice that this door here slams open the door here that's on the on the western wall and you see that there is a uh, a goblin that does run out and he does run back uh, to, to get a you know a vantage point for for shooting a bow so he does take a, a couple steps back as well which is uh, equivalents to about 10 feet and he does launch an arrow your way and he's he's basically shooting through his hobgoblin counterpart as I, as I see him raise the bow I scream out Archers! <laughs> oh, I love it. So the goblin... And raise my shield. ...basically attacks. Ooh, with a nice bonus as well. And it's an 11 it's versus so 1 nice. plus. RNG Jesus this, helps you again. He really is. I am loving this guy tonight. All right. So next up to the north, Kadojo, Edward, you guys hear a door bust open as well, meaning this door right here. And... An archer, uh, a goblin with a bow, pops out, moves back, and also steps. He steps back one as well, so he still does have line of sight with everyone in the room. Now, who he shoots, I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let the uh, the luck of the dice uh, tell. So, eh, Kadojo, give me a D4 roll. One to two, he's gonna attack you. Three to four, he's gonna attack Edward. I think that's fair. So Boo. he does roll. He you you rolled a one, so he is going to shoot his bow at you. Miss, miss, and miss. It's miss. a nine versus God, armor class. Dude. Rn Jesus is not in the hobgoblins corner tonight. You and me, dude. We cannot roll for crap lately. Rn Jesus. Well, the hobgoblins have come to the ring, and their trainer is nowhere in sight, and they're just sitting in the corner all alone at the end of round one, with no guidance. So. Very nice. All by myself. Next up, this hobgoblin here. I love 5e, guys. Combat's so freaking quick, man. <laughs> I mean, it truly is. All right. Hobgoblin attacks with his longsword. Uh, he does not have an ally within, or does he have an ally within five feet? He does not. No. So he will not get his martial advantage, and I'll hit this time. What actually? Uh, yeah, I hit this time with a twenty-one versus armor class on the dwarf. So, I'll be damned. You will take a one d eight plus one damage. Probably maximum. So you take six uh, damage. Okay. Actually, you take six slashing damage. Well, I'm sorry. That's I believe the short fine. sword is no, the long sword slashing. Short sword is piercing. So he's using long sword so it's slashing damage. All right. You take six slashing damage, and gotcha. this goblin here. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna disengage back one as well. He he doesn't he really doesn't know what's going on. Uh, he just saw another one of his counterparts uh, basically catch on fire and die with this weird pulsating fire circle. So he he does. You damn back. coward! All right, so that's the Get end of his turn. Get back over here. Dex check. All right, that is a very nice spell, Kadojo. You know that too. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> he fails the saving does it last? throw. It lasts for one minute, if I'm not mistaken, right, Kadojo? Correct. Or Ten rounds. Ooh, eight. Oh, I gotta do a, uh, I gotta do a Constitution saving throw to see if my spell ended or not. Oh, uh, because you got hit. Yeah, you need to. You know, I thank you for reminding me about that concentration check. So, what is the what is the target number? I think it's isn't it just a ten? 
<laughs> I passed it. Yeah, you, I, I think it's a. I think concentration yes. is a ten. It's a ten. Okay. All right. So thank you for reminding me on that. So everybody still has their their additional one d four for saves and and attack. So all right, that's it. Uh, he takes his damage. He scorches up a little bit. Does the no pants dance around as he's trying to stop drop and roll? Amon, you're up now. Thank you guys so much for hanging out tonight. There's a ton okay. of people in here. Um, Hope you guys are enjoying uh, the I stream. want to attack. Because uh, we are mm -hmm. enjoying doing it for you. Well, actually, I'm going to have to move. Hey, Dave, did that um, goblin get bloodied? Or uh, it did. Anything? He's, yeah, he's... Just checking. Yeah, he, he's definitely bloodied. And actually, I was doing that as soon as you uh, mentioned it. Excellent. I feel I, I, sm I smell the blood. I'm going in for the kill. So, Dave, I'd like to move over here. Okay. And uh, loot the oh, dead goblin. Trying to where's my <laughs> little thing at? There he is. Hold on, I'm just spinning my character around so he's facing the right direction. And uh, I am going to shoot him okay. with my bow. Sounds like a winner. You can go ahead and do your attack roll. Uh, 20 is a hit. There's no need to do an additional D4, so go ahead and roll your damage. Okay. Am I the only person who's missed? <laughs> Pretty much. And then you got Kojo. That's just damaging everything. Yeah, you didn't even have to roll. Oh. All right, so, so four you do four damage, wow. which is no problem. Uh, you notice that he is in a weakened effect, well, a weakened status as well, which is considered bloody. It's a 4E, because you guys are used to playing 4E. That's it for you, Amon. Uh, it looks like uh, Mr. Flaming Sphere's up. Kadojo, you're up, buddy. Okay, I'm going to move the Flaming Sphere up to the Sword and Shield guy as a bonus action. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can go ahead and do your... Uh, I, I would... Yeah, you can do a bonus action at any time. We had talked about that last week, so if you want to do your bonus action first, if you want to do it last, it just simply in 5e, it doesn't matter. So Because I looked that up on the break last week. So. Can you move it the mo in multiple directions, or is it only in one direction? No, I can move in multiple directions. As long as it's one in line of sight. What? So you could technically run it through all three of them right now. Uh, yeah. No, once it hits an enemy, it has to stop. Yeah. Oh, it can't go that's... through an enemy. Dude, regardless, that spell is ridiculous, and I am jealous as hell. <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right, go ahead and uh, let's see. You're going to move it back one square, correct? No, two. All right. On the target here, correct? Correct. Okay. All right, so when you move it, uh, that means that I would make a saving throw, Correct. Correct. Okay, so let me do a, another saving throw. And that is a 10. I fail another saving throw, so give me a 2d6 <laughs> fire damage. Oh. Okay, 4 damage. Okay, as a regular action, I'm going to go ahead and cast Magic Missile. Alright. One dart on the bloodied up north, one dart on the bloodied south, and another dart on the flaming sphere guy. You're like spinning around in circles, just man. Like you're you're looking like a like a sparkler fountain going off. Magic just going everywhere. So go ahead and do one d four damage to the goblins in the north. All right, goblin's Shoots still standing up. strong. He's in bad shape. He's starting to stagger around a little bit. Uh, bloodied hobgoblin to the south. Go ahead and do a damage. Oh come on. <laughs> Same for this guy. He's staggering around. Now, where's that last bolt going, Kadojo? The Flaming Sphere. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and do a 1d4 damage. Alright, you notice uh, he is now in a weakened state as well. And he's in pretty I like bad that, Kadojo. You're getting them all low for me. Such a nice guy. Alright, so nice <laughs> nice round for you, Kadojo. Next up is uh, the Dead Goblin. Next up is... Uh, it took him out of the tracker. So now I'm going to go ahead and... I'm gonna fall back one. Uh, as he's as he's moving back, he pulls his bow out and he does fire his bow, which is a short bow. 
You can you can plainly see that. And uh, he attacks the mage. It seems like all of the creatures are now starting to focus fire the ma the magic user in the party. Medicating, medicating. And that is a 17 versus armor class. That is a hit. Okay. So you're going to take a little bit of a slash and damage here from the short bow, which is a ooh, a seven. Wouldn't damage. it be piercing? Uh, let's see. It that is piercing. Has I was looking at the same thing. Ooh, first bloodied of the night. So you are in a weakened condition. So all of a sudden you feel this sharp pain in your back, and it is piercing damage. So thank you very much. I don't know why I said slashing. <laughs> that goblin is done. Uh, now we got this this hob goblin here. I'm gonna go ahead and and charge up. He's going to get out of the the fire that has uh, caused some excruciating pain. Every time I move through a creature as well, it is basically difficult terrain, and I I do basically move up, right up on the mage and attack the mage. Does the longsword give plus three or plus four? The longsword gives three, not thirty-three. All right, so that's a fourteen versus armor class on. on that's the a hit. Okay. Damn. Uh, let's see. He does not have an ally that is adjacent to him, so he does not get martial advantage. So you're going to take one d eight plus forty five. What? You take a total. <laughs> of, <laughs> you take a total of five slashing damage. That brings me down to a zero. All right, so oh, oh, oh five. five. That takes you down to you're at four, right? So you get a negative one. Right? No, no, I was at five. This ah. brings me down to zero. There you go. You are at zero. So I think the zero puts you down. Let me uh, let me double check this real quick. I think it just makes him unconscious. Not not down like having to do death saving throws. Yeah, just give me one second. I don't. My mind kind of went blank on this. It's not like I haven't read it five fucking times. So. One second, guys. Sorry for the delay in the stream. Let's see. When you top drop to zero, okay, you are unconscious at zero. So. Uh, it is. I thought it was, but it is. I just wanted to open up the book and double check. So, you are unconscious. So, uh, you guys remember the unconscious symbol uh, is, I believe it's the the wings. Angel wings. Yeah. So, go ahead and put an angel wing on yourself, and you will start to make death saving throws on your next turn. So. Kadojo, you are down. Not out, but you are down. And the flaming sphere disappears. It does. Because you're no la able uh, longer to, you're no late you're no longer able to concentrate to keep it up. So and just don't forget as well, that's a concentration item. Well a concentration spell, so you're gonna have to take a, a basically like a, a fourth edition equivalent type of saving throw. Uh, I believe it's a con check to make sure that you keep your spell concentrated. That's sort of okay. that's a that's a new effect that was added in from the last play test back in October of last year or so. Okay. But, but yeah, no, no big deal. Uh, we'll we'll worry about that next time. I'm not not worried about it now. So all right. So you're down. You guys see that uh, an arrow strikes Kadojo simultaneously with a hobgoblin charging in and taking the mage down. So, Jambin, you are up now. So we got one okay, party member so down. Wait, where's that gob um, hobgoblin that just attacked um, the wizard? The hobgoblin is right there, correct. There's a, He's basically uh, standing next to a dead corpse. So he's still right in front of him then? Correct, right? yep, yep. You can okay. see, yeah, he's, yep. he's bloodied and stuff, so... Yeah, but he, he's definitely there. You just have the... The other hobgoblin that's got the square on him. So yeah, he's there. Okay, yeah, that's what was throwing me off. I didn't the old corpse. Well, like I'm going to take out another arrow and send it downwind. Two twenty-five. Well, nice. at that 
hob hobgoblin. Send it on downwind, bud. Send it. Let that arrow go downwind. And a twenty-one. Twenty-one versus armor class. Uh, which hobgoblin? Wh where are you trying to attack now? Yeah, that's that's the one. I thought you. I just thought the I saw a ping to the south. I was like, whoa! What are you doing shooting through that corner? You know better than to do that, Baxter. That's why I was asking if the goblin was still in front of Kadojo. Yep, well, I, that's what I figured, but all of a sudden I saw a ping to the south. I'm like, what? But anyways, go ahead and roll damage, sir. Six, da six piercing damage. Ooh, dude. the fighter gets a kill count. He Another is one. Another kill count. He does go down. Yeah, you, f you fire the, the arrow and... Basically, log uh, basically lodges right into the the side of the, you know, you basically pierce right through his arm. His arm sticks to his side, and he <gasps> falls over, kind of slumps up against the wall. <laughs> he is and that's out. another bullseye, guys. Incapacitated. So, Jambin, you're at. You want any uh, movement? And hold on. Now, yeah, I'm going to make another. I'm going to make a move. Okay, right go ahead here. and make a move. And Edward, you're up now, sir. Hold on. Oh, are you going to action surge or something? Action surge, indeed. All right, so what are you going to action surge right there? Shoot again? Yeah, that guy right there. Ooh, so you're burning the action surge as well. I like it. Fire away. A critical hit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he, get, he gets crits on 19s now. Gotta love that uh, Path of the Warrior line. Well, it's not called Path of the Warrior anymore, but I believe it's called, what is it, Gladiator now or Champion? Something like that. Damn. I think it's past the champion. Uh, wow. Yeah, this this um, goblin here, literally, his head explodes off of his shoulders. <laughs> his head just rolls onto the ground. <laughs> wow. The sheer, the sheer force of the arrow impales his head into the wall. It's like yeah, taking. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's it's like taking a bazooka and shooting a pumpkin with it. His head just basically explodes <laughs> nice off of his shoulders, and then he kind of runs around in circles for a little bit. Marching like a toy soldier, and then he just falls over. Pff, plop. Dead. <laughs> nice move. So sorry about that, Ed. As well. uh, Stormwolf got another steal on the kill count on the kilometer tonight. That's so okay. you are up, Edward. It's I'm going like... to charge to the south and attack this uh, goblin down here. Sounds Thank good. You. Attack away. This this hobgoblin and chainmail. Thirteen armor. versus armor class. Oh yeah, he Get takes his shield. shield. And he, he actually counters Plus your attack. Four. Oh, wait a second. D4. Plus four, that's uh, 17. I'm sorry. Okay. No, add a D4. You have to roll. A one D4, yeah. Gotta love that bless buff. 17 versus armor class is still a hit. You think you're almost going to... It's a 15. ...contact? Well, it's 13 plus four would be... Well, no, the, there's four. Oh, you there's, get rolled there's twice a two first. I got you. Still, same thing. Uh, still a close hit, but no cigar. So that's it. We got some dead hobgoblins here I need to take out of the tracker. It looks like, Crag, you're up now. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... I guess touch Varus and heal him with Ooh, my Cure Wound spell. You're going to touch him? I have to touch him to cast the spell, people. Don't get weird ideas. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, people, mine's out of the gutter. Mm, out of the gutter. You like that, baby? <laughs> Come on, everybody, sing it loud! Holy crap, finally. Alright, well, you get healed for 14. Nice. Who? And I will move... Yes, over this way. All right. All right. So as, as oh you... wait, no, I can't do that. I'll take an attack of opportunity, won't I? No, no, you don't. Only if no. you exit. Now here, let me let me show you guys something real quick, and and for everybody watching, in in fifth edition, I'm gonna I'm gonna set you back out. I'm gonna move you right here. All right. So say that. Nope. Hold on. I'm gonna move you back. Sorry. I'm moving you out there. It's no problem. Now say that. You know this 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 hobgoblin is is up here. All right, this hobgoblin sees you. He charges in. The way that the the way that attacks of opportunity work in five E is like this. He's not within five feet of you yet, so it doesn't count. So when he does move in, <clears throat> when he moves up five feet, now there you go. 
he's within his five foot reach. They call it reach. It's not a it's not adjacent like it's called on 4e. So he's within reach to you. Now, if he was a large creature, he'd have a reach of ten, so it would be two squares. So it would work the same way, but just as one other square as a as a cushion. Now, he can move anywhere around you. He could literally use his his movement every round and do a complete victory lap around you and would not take an attack of opportunity. As long as he stays within your five foot Excellent. reach and if as long as you guys stay within their five foot reach, they cannot take an attack of opportunity. But the moment that you leave, now when he comes down here and then he leaves, that's when you say, Alright, bam, attack of opportunity that's your reaction. You get one reaction around. So that's that's how you take it. That's that's when it that's when you can take an attack of opportunity. So there you go. There's a uh, our nightly five E lesson. I hope that helped out. I hope that helped out everybody watching as well. So uh, there King you go. King Clark, King Clark, who got the fourteen heal? Uh yes, you you got the fourteen heal, Ferris. So you, yeah, you, you are no longer uh, okay. unconscious, and you are you now be starting to. As well. The light is coming back to you. All right, so as you Can as you move in, uh, it costs two movement for every square. So this square would have cost two movement, and this square would have cost two movement. The two squares there. As long as you got the movement, that's fine. Yeah, it, it's exactly enough movement. I got 25. Okay. So as you're as you're starting to to move in, uh, you you notice that the the goblin here, uh, he does. His eyes are getting big because he 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 sees all of his other comrades starting to go down, so he's starting to think that things could be getting bad. He thinks that. You know he's fixing to get jiggy with it, so he does he does fire an arrow at you, even though. So here's the way it works. I really, I I just want to show you how the how this works. It's sort of like a sort of like a lesson as well, because you guys haven't really done this yet. So we'll say that the goblin's dirt, okay? Or we'll we'll say that the the goblin is is Jambin, because Jambin's playing a rogue as a fighter. So you're within five foot reach. That means that if he takes his bow attack, he's firing at you at disadvantage. Normally, you know, in 4e, what we're used to is you would get a free attack. You'd get an attack of opportunity. But it doesn't work like that in 5. Now, the, the penalty is him shooting at disadvantage. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And, of course, uh, I don't have my, my macro up, so I, what I need to do is go into y'all's real quick. I don't know what the frick I was thinking. So, it would be faster for me to just copy-paste this instead of typing it out. Do you this want one of us to just roll it for you? Nope, I got it. I'm already done. So, okay. Alright, so the Goblin's modifier with the bow is this... All right, uh, it is a 13 versus armor class. You, yeah, I would have hit you if uh, I didn't have disadvantage. So I think the 13 would probably miss, right? Against me? Yep. Uh, yeah. Okay, and, so... And yes, the 18 would have hit me. That's a miss. So you guys can see on the stream... Yes, the, the 13 is a miss, the nine but the kept. 18 would have hit me. So right, thank cool. God I moved up. <laughs> yep. And that's it. That's it for the goblin. He can't do anything else. He can't disengage. Oh, actually, yes, I can. I can. I can actually use my the uh, nimble escape or whatever. Yeah, yeah. nimble escape. I'm gonna take a free action, and I'm actually gonna I'm gonna dip around this corner, and I'm gonna open up this corner as well. Now that you're you're down here, I'll open up open this up as well for you. So, Daddy's got gotcha. you. It's creepy here, and Daddy's got gotcha, you. I don't I think that. Um, I think it's creepy. Ammon actually gets that ability. What gets what? The the thing where he gets to disengage or whatever. Sure, he gets it as a free action every round. As a well, not as a free action, as a bonus action. He can yeah, he can yeah, escape. Darn right, I do. All right, so there you go. This is uh now what you see. Kind of open up some more stuff for you. All right. 
that's it for the goblin. He's uh basically uses nimble action to get out of the way. Cunning action. Cunning is action. What it's called. Yeah, for the rogue, yeah. Uh, it's nimble escape for the for the goblin. Same thing. Sweet. Different name. Alright, so we're back up to the to, to the goblin up top. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and take a shot at at Jambin. I mean, he just saw, you know, he, he kinda peeked around the door. He saw you know his his brother's head explode off of his shoulder, so he's he's feeling pretty good about himself being uh, you know someone of proficiency in bow. So he's going to shoot at Jambin. He's going to try to make Jambin's head explode as well. I don't know if it's going to happen, but we'll see. So he drops his bow. He gets a great shot aimed up. He lets go of it. Closes his eyes at the last second. And the arrow falls right out of the damn bow. He lets go of the hand holding yeah. the bow. <laughs> and then his bow <laughs> just falls on the ground. The face. <laughs> and he forfeits the rest of his turn. And his eyes are just like, oh shit, did I just do that? Can I make like a comment a... to him? Sure, you can do that. Hey, Goblin, you call yourself an archer? <laughs> ah, a dead one! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Edward, you're being attacked by the hobgoblin down here that you're going toe to toe with, and the attack is a he does not get any kind of benefit from his uh, tactics. Martial advantage. Ooh, <laughs> whoa! Where did that come from? I'll take that roll. He gets hit in stride. <laughs> you get hit three times. So, ooh, ooh. even better. So my That's reroll a is a crit. Man, if that if he had martial advantage, well, I think you well, should use your initial uh twenty roll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with the one. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and do some damage. All right, so you take a total of, of you take fifteen slashing damage from the longsword from the critical. Does that put you at a or, bloodied or anything? Or no? Be fifteen. Yeah, or you 17? take a total of thirteen. Thirteen. Five plus seven. Uh, plus okay. One. So thirteen total damage. No, that's. I'm still fine. You're too good. All right, you're still good. So he connects a a, a great shot, and he knows that it really doesn't even phase you. And in fact, it. I th he thinks that it probably pissed you off. All right, so that's it for him. Oh, yeah. Damon, you're up now. Now that uh, Jambin is stealing all of your kills. So I'm going to come around the corner here. And, uh... So that would be one, two, three, four. Station. All right. And then I'm going to yell, Leave Edward alone! Sucker right there with my bow. Okay, the, the hobgoblin is on there bloodied. Yep, the bloodied sucker. Sounds like a uh, a wiener to me. Like no, it's naughty. not. It, I, I believe it's called uh, weakened thunder. Mm. I'm just giving. I guess 14 doesn't quite cut it, does it? To help oh no, I'd have to roll them with before, but it wouldn't even do it with a fourteen, would it? You, you get to, you get to. No, it, well, you don't know. It might, it might not. You okay. just don't know. Right. Just, just roll it. Anyway. Roll so go ahead four. and roll it. Okay. I hope you roll a four, dirt. I really do. I don't know. I hope you definitely roll a four. Because then you're gonna say it doesn't what? hit anyway, sucker, right? <laughs> <laughs> so no, it, it, oh, it wait, doesn't wait, hit. Wait, wait, wait. No, just it's we'll, just yeah, 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 we'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, So yeah, your yeah. attack doesn't hit. Anything else okay. for you? Any anything else? That's it. No. All right, that's, kiddo. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. You're back up. Uh, you 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 know you're starting to see the light again. Your senses are starting to come up to you. We'll come back to you, so you're able to stand up if you would like. Uh, it will take half your movement. So if you okay. have 30 movement, 15's getting up. So that's how okay. it works in 5e. I'll do that, and then I'll cast Ray of Frost on the bloodied hop goblin. Okay, so go ahead and, and do your attack roll. And that would be versus my target's armor class. Oh. Uh, yeah, you, you haven't gathered your senses enough, and, and you actually bounce a, a an orb off of the axe of, of Edward, and you almost knock the axe out of his hand, but he's able to hold on to it. 
Alright. Any other movement? If you want to go ahead and make any other movement, go ahead and move, but Jambin, you're up now.